Hello dear students, welcome to Risk and Returns chapter from Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will start the practical problems, very easy to understand. Okay? Practical problems on what methods and on what areas means total I have mentioned here. One is annual rate of return and ex ante that is expected value of return exposed returns from historical data and the measurement of risk this measurement of risk the subtopics we have taken from statistics part one what are the topics range highest value minus lowest value standard deviation is you know coefficient of variation beta coefficient not beta beta coefficient <coughs> beta coefficient we have two methods one is related to the correlation another one is related to the regression so these are the main practical topics so we'll focus first today annual rate of return <coughs> annually how much rate of return you are expecting if we know these calculations we can come to know that whether it is a good to invest or not annual rate of return how much rate i am going to receive if i invest so and so amount for that what we need to know is price value we must know and also dividend how much return how much dividend you are getting it return in the sense two ways you may expect the return one is on your investment some return it may be in the form of interest or in the form of dividend another return is on capital appreciation i kept investment of 1 lakh my 1 lakh is going to increase after 2 years 1 lakh 20 thousand means capital appreciation dividend or interest i am getting that's different but capital appreciation like two ways you can expect the appreciation or return now let's focus annual rate of return how do we calculate it simple there's a formula for this annual rate of return formula is this return annual rate of return is equal to annual income how much income you are getting annual income plus price change divided by opening price into 100 annual income what do you get income annual income every year either interest or dividend that is what annual income plus price change how much price is changing by opening price beginning price into 100 able to remember say annual income plus price change by opening price into 100 annual income plus price change by opening price into 100 okay this is the formula to calculate the annual rate of return the problem is given to us from the following information calculate annual rate of returns year closing price annual dividend annual dividend means nothing but annual income so the same data we have written in a vertical format here price change this is closing price is given the change of the price that we have provided one column dividend as it is we are going to post and we are going to calculate the returns based on the formula very easy okay first what we'll do capital gain capital gain or price change price change means first year that is 2016 it was 90 17 it is 120 change how do you get change 120 minus 90 it comes to 30 30 will be related to 2017 first year there is no amount this amount or price change we can calculate with the data of 2015 2015 do we have that data no so that is why we can keep it as nil okay 120 minus uh, 90 you got 30 and 160 minus comparing change of the change of this gain so 160 minus 140 this is 40 160 minus 120 40 then 190 minus 160 30 next 210 minus 190 20 change in price that is we can say it as a capital gain how much is the gain sometimes it can be minus value also how you suppose this is 80 80 minus 90 comes to here minus 10 like negative value also possibility is there now in this problem we have all positive values 
dividend as it is will write first year we are not going to calculate anyhow so we'll keep nil second year onwards dividend is 5 4 3 6 now return you have to calculate how do you calculate based on the same formula uh, i'll i'm writing here only so first one is uh, first year no second year will calculate annual income is how much means dividend dividend is 5 5 plus price change is 30 by opening price opening price means this one beginning 90 opening price this is closing price of 2017 year 2017 year closing price is 120 opening price is 90 into 100 so whatever we get that will be the return in the same way second one also uh, dividend is 4 plus price change is 40 divided by previous year that is 120 into 100 third year uh, annual uh, dividend is 3 3 plus price change is 30 by opening price 2019 means 18 we have to see 160 160 into 100 next last year uh, income is 6 plus change is 20 by one year before 20 means 190 190 into 100 will use the calculator mm, 30 plus 5 35 35 into 100 3500 35 100 100 divided by 90 which is 38.89 <clears throat> this is 38.89 in the same way this one also 40 plus 4 44 44 44 into 100 4400 divided by 120 this is 36.67 36.67 percentage this is this is the percentage you can expect okay and here 30 plus 3 33 3300 3, divided by 160 20.62 you can write 20.63 and next one 26 100 divided by 190 13.68 so return let me explain you this but we have done simply followed this formula in the problem we we, we were given annual income of dividend okay dividend is given this one and price change price is given closing price the change how much is the change change means always we have to take the difference like this uh, and uh, using the formula first what we have taken year as it is and capital gain price change column we have provided and dividend here price change dividend and returns price change how you got uh, 120 minus 90 30 always from the next year to this year you have to take the price change for this year there is no price to compare with the 2015 so first year is nil like uh, to uh, 120 minus 30 My 120 minus 90, and 160 minus 120, and 190 minus 160, 30, 210 minus 190, 20. You got it. Dividend as it is, we have written and applied in the formula. When you apply the formula, annual income for first one, annual income is 5 plus price change. How much is the price change? 30 divided by opening price. So this is given closing price. last year is the opening price that is why we were taking when you calculate for 2017 year opening price is 90 90 we have taken into 100 in the same way we have calculated for all the years at the end of the day what we are getting return of annual return how much you are expecting for 2016 year 38.89 percent you are expecting your return next year 36.67 20.63 13.68 means drastically it is decreasing you have an idea
like this you can calculate for every year but what is needed is here price and also closing price and annual dividend if these two items are there you can calculate by using this formula very simple only one problem we are doing topic is very easy annual rate of return based on the formula we have done it now for your homework one homework problem is given years 90 to 98 same like closing price is given dividend is also given answer is also given any of first year you don't find any answer second year onwards answers now here answer is for 91 94 and 97 these three years we got negative answer possibility is there work out and see how many of you are getting the same answer without any changes let me know this so this topic is over annual rate of return next class will focus on the next topic expected value of return how much we are expecting this is based on the factors some factor will be given to us so based on this will be work outing very easy this one second one is quite easy hope you are understanding let me know your views in the comment box by the way don't forget to share this videos everything is prepared for you all at the rate of free of cost share this video check out the playlist whatever is useful use it and have a bright career good luck by the way let me know how many of you are getting the answer <laughs> take care